Welcome to Blender Mythbusters, the show where your wildest questions meet cold hard tests. Each round will tackle a big claim and put it to the ultimate challenge, fact or fiction. Are they Blender truths or urban legends? Thanks so much to my wonderful patrons for supporting content like this. Join our amazing community in the description below. Anyways, let the Blender Mythbusting begin. Okay, so I feel like I have a pretty good idea about this one just because I've been using optics for so long, but we're gonna go ahead and test it anyways. We can come up to edit preferences, go down to the system tabs. Now this is what I'm talking about. If you have optics, you will have the option to select your GPU and CPU. Uh, we're gonna start out by just the GPU. So you can see I have this checked and then this unchecked here. So we're gonna go ahead and render out a still frame here. Okay, so we got one minute 33. Let's go ahead and switch over to the other one. So this is with the G uh, CPU and GPU selected. So both of these. Let's go ahead and render this one out as well. Okay, so now I'm a little confused because this was faster, but uh, I'm gonna run a couple more tests off camera and I'll get you the result. Okay guys, I did a few more tests. What I ended up doing is setting the uh, frame that we're actually looking at at frame two and then rendering the animation just because sometimes it has to load in kernels, the first frame and all that stuff or whatever. But for some reason, it's still slower when you just have the GPU selected. Again, this is baffling to me. This is exactly why I'm doing this video series is because this is the time we got with just, uh, with with both of the CPU and GPU right here. So you can see about a 12 second difference. Hey guys, Future Jacob here. I was doing some more tests with some other scenes and it seems like it's very random depending on if your scene is gonna be faster with GPU or GPU and CPU. And so I'm gonna leave this myth as plausible. Uh, let me know what you guys get in your own tests, but uh, just wanna mention that since I did run into some weird testing bugs and stuff. So this next one, I feel like I have a pretty good idea as well, uh, just what's gonna happen. Uh, but this is also due to your own PC, I believe. And so I have a pretty beefy PC, so you know, might not see it crash or anything like this, but let's go ahead and test it. The uh, myth is that if you have it not on render view, so what we have now, it's actually gonna render faster when you actually render it out. Again, we have one to two frames, just so we get out that first frame, kind of rendering the kernels, all that stuff. And so we'll leave it as is right now. So this is solid view. Let's go ahead and render the animation and I'll get back to you once that finishes. Okay, so there we go. We have a four minute, 31 second render time. We can exit out of that. Uh, and this is what I'm talking about. If we come over here, we'll go to rendered view. Uh, a lot of people are in rendered view when they're actually rendering their animation. And this is what we're testing to see if this is actually gonna lag us up and make it a uh, slower render time. So as you can see, it's a very intensive scene, a lot of uh, volumetrics, everything in here. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and render the animation again. And I'll be back to compare the render time. And here is the dreaded message guys system is out of GPU memory out here. So the render has stopped. Uh, I wasn't expecting to actually run into this just because I have 24 gigabytes of VRAM. But as you can see, this is uh, doing it. I'll try it one more time to see if we actually get a render out, but uh, this is what I'm talking about. We'll try it one more time. So let's get to it. Okay, there we go again. It happened even earlier. So I'm gonna say this myth is confirmed because infinite render time is much longer than four minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, there's no way that this is really true. Whoa, <laughs> myth confirmed, guys. Nice. Okay, so in this test, we're gonna be comparing the different denoising options inside of Blender. We have the render denoise over here, just the check mark on the window. We are gonna be using GPU uh, compute and then uh, open image denoise over here at a 64 sample count. So that should give us some good idea of what some artifacts should look like. And then in the compositing section, we also have the denoise node. Of course, uh, we are doing the noisy image at normal on albedo. So those are the same between them, but uh, I just wanna see if they are the exact same process or uh, which one is better. So I'm gonna go and render these uh, one to uh, 50 to see the animation of both of those and compare the different artifacts. Okay, so I have the results right here. I'm using Nuke to kind of preview this and everything. If I quickly switch between them and like really, really zoom in, you can tell literally nothing is moving. And so my belief is that they are the exact same thing. Uh, now render time is a little bit longer if you choose the known method, I do believe because you're using CPU uh, denoising instead of GPU denoising. So might just be better to go ahead and uh, denoise with the um, menu setup versus the node because if I play this as well, you can see it's very noisy. This is the uh, node version right now. And then if I quickly switch, this is the menu version right now. And uh, I've looked through this through a lot of times and really, I can't really tell a difference. Let me know if you guys can tell a difference in, uh, or whatever, but literally if I stop a frame on a random frame, go super, super zoomed in because this is a big noise area. You can see there's a little bit of noise and stuff changing here, but that is like so zoomed in, nobody's ever gonna notice that. So I think this myth is busted. We can go ahead and move on to the next one.
Since we're on the topic of denoising, I've always been told that open image denoise is actually much better for denoising inside of Blender. However, there is also another denoising option. So if I check that, you can see we also have optics right now. And so optics, if you remember, this is what we kind of render with NVIDIA GPUs and it's super, super fast, but I wanted to put to the test if optics is A, faster, and then B, is it also better for denoising in general, or is it gonna lead to more artifacts, all that type of stuff. So let's select optics right here and we're gonna render the same exact scene that we had before and we're going to compare the two options there. Okay, so once again, inside of Nuke, we have the two versions here. The first one we can see is our original uh, denoise, so using the open image denoiser. You can see it's doing a pretty all right job. Again, this is kind of like the worst case scenario, doing 64 sample count, super uh, high reflections, all this uh, type of specular highlights, all this stuff. But as we switch over to denoise, it might be a little bit hard to tell on YouTube, but if I kind of zoom in here, this is terrible. I, I, I'm honestly uh, surprised by this because uh, there was a little bit where I was using uh, optics denoiser but this is just awful you can even see if I switch it back and forth you can you know like what what is that you know I don't know what uh, optics is doing I also believe in the past when I was doing CGI layers that include alpha channels uh, all the artifacting on the alpha channels are just horrendous so as you can see here it's kind of the same result but just think of in the alpha channel as well and so do not use the optic denoiser it's there if you really really need to get something out maybe for like previs or something like that but even the render time was pretty similar between the two I think now with open image uh, denoiser having GPU you should not use optics at all and so uh, hopefully this makes sense it showcases why you shouldn't use it so myth busted there and so there you have it some of the biggest blender myths answered if you have any myths that you want to be covered make sure to leave them in the comment section down below if you made it this far in the video congrats because I love you